Hi, I'm Matt Salmon, the CEO at Salmon Health and Retirement, and I wanted to update you all on some dramatic changes that are taking place in the organization as part of our response to the COVID-19 epidemic. We have been asked by the state of Massachusetts to participate actively in the solution for the care and treatment of patients with COVID disease. As a result, we have made the decision, along with UMass Medical and the Department of Public Health and Executive Offices of Health and Human Services, that the best course of action for all of the citizens in Massachusetts is for us to create COVID-specific care and treatment centers. And as a result, we've been asked to donate the, the, our staff and our building to this, this effort in Worcester, Massachusetts. Starting this Friday, we are going to begin moving all of the existing residents out of Beaumont at Worcester to our sister facilities and area facilities um, in Worcester to create a building that will be used specifically for the care, treatment, and rehabilitation of people who have been diagnosed with, with COVID-19 disease. This personally has been a, a very, very difficult decision and I've been anguishing over it for a few days now because I know the amount of disruption that is, this is going to cause for our residents and families um, who trusted us to take care of their, their loved ones in Worcester. I can't, in my role, think of any other solution that doesn't put all of our seniors at risk, not just the ones in our buildings, but the ones throughout the Commonwealth. We've been known for weeks that the, the population that we're trying to save and the population that we're trying to protect from this, in, this infectious disease is anyone over 70 years old. I can't see um, any logical reason why a skilled nursing operator would be allowed to admit a COVID positive resident into their building and increase the risk of that disease spreading throughout the entire community. As a result, I feel it's in our best interest to protect all of our residents by evacuating Beaumont at Worcester, creating a COVID-specific building that UMass Medical and, and St. Vincent's Hospital can discharge COVID-positive patients to, where we can provide proper care and treatment for them without increasing the risk of infections among our seniors. My worst fear is having mass outbreaks in nursing homes across the state because we are required or, or need to take COVID positive residents. I sincerely apologize to anyone who is impacted by this and understand that as a, as a, a son or daughter or a grandchild of one of the residents in our buildings, that you are now going to be experiencing a significant amount of disruption when you can't have in-person contact with them. And for that, I'm, I truly am sorry. But for the greater good of all the seniors in Massachusetts, not just the ones in our system, we need to do what's right for the common good. And I, I again, I, I apologize, but we're trying to save lives and we're trying to do it in, in the, the best way possible where we're limiting the risk for your loved ones. This situation is fluid. It, it, it's evolving quite quickly for us. We don't have all of the answers. I will have some phone numbers for people to call. Uh, DPH in the Ombudsman's office has, has offered to help facilitate some of those and, and field a lot of those calls for us. Please, whatever you do, do not visit the building. Please try and limit your calls to the building. Let our staff get organized, focused on the work at hand, and we will communicate with you where your loved one is going to be, how it's going to be done, and when it's going to be done, it's just going to take a lot of time. In all honesty, the Department of Public Health asked us to have this building evacuated for Monday, and I told them that was impossible. It was impossible to do it in a way that we felt was the correct way to do it. And so the goal is to have the building evacuated by Wednesday. We have this, uh, we're putting a plan in place as I record this that is putting the, the moves and phases that will begin on Saturday and conclude on Wednesday. And as this happens, we will be in touch with all of our residents and families. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your understanding. I thank you for your patience. But if we don't take these kind of drastic measures, this COVID crisis is going to devastate seniors in Massachusetts. And I appreciate your understanding with that. Thank you.